Hi, welcome to Minority Review. I'm Sailesh and today we're going to be reviewing Green Lantern. The great light has gone out in the universe. Worlds annihilated. Lanterns, we face an unprecedented danger. An enemy powerful enough to destroy entire civilizations. To fight this enemy, the ring chose a human. I don't need to tell you your duty. One of the oldest superheroes, even predating Batman, Green Lantern is an intergalactic policeman patrolling the galaxy. His willpower is channeled through a ring that lets him construct anything his imagination desires. So in this film, the chosen one is test pilot Hal Jordan, who's played by Ryan Reynolds. He learns about the ways of the lanterns and about their enemy, Parallax, who's basically this big CGI-created monster that's devouring planets and feeds off people's fears. So, now, obviously, Earth is the next target and Hal has to defend it. He's pretty much alone in this battle because the other Green Lanterns have their own agendas. Okay, so what I didn't like about the Green Lantern was that it's got too much CGI in it, so much so that it looks like a cartoon. Even the green bodysuit that Hal Jordan wears is, is computer generated. Well, I mean, at least it's better than the plastic body armor they gave Thor, right? Unlike X-Men First Class, where the dynamics between Professor X and Magneto were so well portrayed, in Green Lantern, the enmities, jealousies, and romance just appear out of nowhere. Ryan Reynolds is the only good thing about this film. His comedic background infuses it with a sense of humor. Like, when he's pledging allegiance, he takes an oath, but he doesn't know the words. So he says things like, To infinity and beyond, which is from Toy Story, and By the power of Grayskull, which I'll let you figure out where that's from. Green Lantern is just okay as a film. It enlightens us about lantern tradition, but it really doesn't entertain us. And the finale, oh my god, it is so lackluster. Hal defeats his nemesis Parallax in just five minutes. I mean, you could call that willpower, but I seriously wish the filmmakers had put more of that willpower into the story of this film. Oh, and as for the 3D, it's pretty lame. As a format, I think 3D is ruining our movies. But since America makes lots of money over high-priced 3D tickets, you and I are going to have to live with it. I give Green Lantern two stars. If you do consider watching the film, then stick around till after the end credits when you get a sneak peek into the setup for a sequel. See you next time. <laughs>